So here we are again, waiting for Boris. Tonight, Boris is going to make an announcement yet again. And I have no doubt that rules and regulations will change. And I also have no doubt that the figures and the news will be daunting. As I'm waiting, as we are all waiting, it made me think of Psalm 27. And I'm going to read it to you first of all from the message translation. Light, space, zest, that's God. So with him on my side, I'm fearless, afraid of no one and nothing. When vandal hordes ride down ready to eat me alive, those bullies and toughs fall flat on their faces. When besieged, I'm calm as a baby. When all hell breaks loose, I'm collected and cool. I'm asking God for one thing, only one thing, to live with him in his house my whole life long. I'll contemplate his beauty. I'll study at his feet. That's the only quiet, secure place in a noisy world. The perfect getaway far from the buzz of traffic. God holds me head and shoulders above all who try to pull me down. I'm headed for his place to offer anthems that will raise the roof. Already I'm singing God songs. I'm making music to God. Listen, God, I'm calling at the top of my lungs. Be good to me. Answer me. When my heart whispered, seek God, my whole being replied, I'm seeking him. Don't hide from me now. You've always been right there for me. Don't turn your back on me now. Don't throw me out. Don't abandon me. You've always kept the door open. My father and mother walked out and left me, but God took me in. Point me down your highway, God. Direct me along a well-lit street. Show my enemies whose side you're on. Don't throw me to the dogs. Those liars who are out to get me, filling the air with their threats. I'm sure now I'll see God's goodness in the exuberant earth. Stay with God. Take heart. Don't quit. I'll say it again. Stay with God. Now, the New Living Translation ends that psalm like this. Yet I am confident I will see the Lord's goodness while I am here in the land of the living. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. I'll give you some homework. Go and look up Psalm 27 in different versions and look at the way it flows. Look how confidently the psalmist starts. The Lord is my light and my salvation and finishes with wait patiently for the Lord. But in the middle, there's that passage about don't leave me, God, don't abandon me. As we wait for Boris's announcement, as I'm fairly confident we will be facing some grim figures and the possibility of the NHS being overwhelmed. Let's look to God. Let's be brave and courageous and stay with God. Stick with God. Wait patiently for God to reveal his plan.
And in the meantime, our job stays just the same. To meditate, to confirm our faith, to be strong and courageous, to wait patiently, being who we're meant to be, offering light and hope where we can, and giving ourselves a good talking to when those other voices creep in. Whatever Boris says, as a poster on my wall used to say, God is still in his heaven and all will be well with the world in God's timing. Let's be brave and courageous and wait patiently with God and for God. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.